how to calculate gross product that is I think the most important question here in this chapter and we will see how to calculate gross product in fact I will show you two methods and this is the method which is adopted universally right and then I'll show you the method which I adopt and which is not adopted universally so and then it's all up to you you can use any one of those methods and do cross product right here we are with this method so I'll call it the universal method of finding cross product so let's see what are we trying to do here we have two vectors here a which is represented by its direction numbers a1 a2 a3 and b with numbers b1 b2 b3 and we need to find what is a cross b and the formula is given to you and it is in all the books right now how to figure out and how to remember all this now the way to do it is like this you have this vector a which is a1 a2 a3 write these direction numbers starting with the second number not with the first right it's like a coordinate system right we normally start with right hand corner as number one and then go clockwise right now so starting with the second number let's write them down so we have a2 then we have a3 and then a1 a2 a1 a2 so basically what we do is we make it a circle kind of thing right so we start with a2 the second number and go clockwise and i should say anti-clockwise right so a2 a3 a1 and then stop at a2 right so write down these direction numbers in a sequence now same thing you do with b so we'll write b2 and then we'll write b3 b1 and end with from where you started b2 now that gives us a layout the two rows of a's and b's and what we are trying to do here is we are trying to find what is a cross b right and then next part is multiply these components and subtract with this one it's kind of like now you see a2 b3 minus b2 a3 that's formed a2 b3 minus b2 a3 so you get your direction number in x direction right so that is your first and then you do for the second so again the same thing you see multiply these two and take away these a3 b1 minus b3 a1 right and then continue the same way multiply a1 b2 and take away b1 a2 and then you get your cross product and that's the formula written right there on the top i hope it's absolutely clear now we'll do it with the help of an example and see how simple it is so we'll start with the center number what we're trying to do here is we are trying to do a cross b right so we'll start with the center number which is minus one minus one and then we'll write minus one two one minus one so we repeat right up to this and then we do for the second set of numbers which is starting with the center two three one and then again end with two right and then what we are going to do here is we are going to multiply this and take away this multiply this take away this multiply this take away this giving us our answer right so let me show you our answer in this vector form right here so we get the i should say the first direction number as this times this is minus three take away four so that gives me the first component right the next one is two minus three you must be feeling comfortable now 2 minus of minus 1 right so 2 minus of minus 1 will make it plus 1 so this this actually is our a cross b do you see that and now a simple simple calculation minus 3 minus 4 gives me minus 7 and 2 minus 3 gives me minus 1 and 2 plus 1 gives me 3 and I get some answer here and that is the vector which is the cross product of these two and that is our answer now a neat way to check our answer here is 
So let me add that right check. How to check this is just because the first exercise for us to do. Uh, now we know the direction of this cross product should be normal to both. That means perpendicular to both. That means if I do a dot, I should write this in brackets and you will understand that that is not required since we should always do cross product first and then the dot product. Dot product gives you a scalar and you cannot have, you know, scalar with cross product, correct? In cross product and in dot product, you need both quantities as vectors. So let's try to see what is A dot A cross B. So A is for us 1, I mean minus 1 and 2 and dot of what we got is minus 7, minus 1 and 3. And when you do dot product, then you just 1 times minus 1, you just do straight, straight and this is not a vector. So, so this is minus 7. And when you do minus 1 times minus 1, you get plus 1. And 2 times 3 is plus 6. And when you do a math, minus 7 plus 1 plus 6, you get 0. So that proves that the two vectors are indeed 0. And therefore, that is a cross product. And you can do the same exercise with, with B dot A cross B, right? So I'll leave that for you. And you should get this also as 0. So what we are trying to make you understand here is that if the two vectors let's say are like this and like this on this plane in that case the cross product of these two vectors is shooting out of this page in the direction like this right so we are doing here this is a for example and this is b then we have a normal direction which is coming out of this page so A cross B is this, right? A cross B is this vector in the normal direction. And which you also learned earlier that the magnitude A cross B can be represented by the parallelogram completed by this. Do you understand? So that kind of give you an idea of the magnitude, right? And the direction is shooting out of this. So that is how it is. And I think that should make how to calculate cross product very simple for you thank you if you appreciate it do share your comments thank you